Hi, my name's Jerry Coulter. I am the patron of an organisation called Dorset Victim Support. And we are an organisation that supports victims. The Paladin. A knight renowned for heroism and chivalry. The Paladin is a class of warrior that is fully devoted to kindness and ridding the universe of evil. They are very religious and have an extremely strict honour code as well as a soft spot for all victims and animals. In combat, a Paladin with a cause is almost impossible to defeat. Paladins fear nothing, for evil fears them. Introduce Miss Laura Richards, the Chief Executive Officer of Paladin Stalking Advocacy. Recently in the media, accusing Harry Fletcher of Napo of stalking her. Laura is an expert renowned in the UK on cyber stalking, domestic violence and related issues. Laura in 2011 ran a company called Protection Against Stalking which she co-founded with Trisha Banal, who was influential in bringing to law the Harassment Act 1997. They both ran the company Protection Against Stalking together and sometime later Laura left the company and she campaigned in government with Trisha Banal on stalking law reform with the MP Elfin Lid. She then subsequently set up a company called Paladin Stalking Advocacy and it is obvious that she was campaigning beforehand to set this company up in government. This is a letter to Mr Corder, the chairman of the DVSO, from a caseworker at the CIC Regulator Government Office. Dear Mr Coulter, thank you for the additional information provided and for confirming that you are content for the Regulator to name you should the Regulator decide to write to the CIC. That's Laura Richard's company. The Regulator is considering your concerns at present as confirmed in our letter of the 26th of February 2015. We cannot confirm or deny whether any action is being taken and we will not be providing a time scale. Thank you for your interest in this matter. So much for the government telling us how open and transparent they want to be. In view of this, we believe that this documentary is justified in making this information aware in the interests of public interest and transparency and openness. 1st of January 2015, the Daily Mail and the Daily Mirror broke stories about eminent stalking and domestic violence expert Laura Richards of the Paladin Stalking Advocacy Organisation, in which Laura makes allegations that her colleague and former director of Paladin, Mr Harry Fletcher, formerly of the National Association of Probation Officers, had been stalking her. The very next day, on the 1st of February 2015, the Daily Mirror ran the identical story. What follows is the second story on the 7th of February by the Daily Mail, announcing that Laura's Paladin Community Interest Company has had £100,000 of a £148,000 charitable grant from the Comic Relief Red Nose Day charity put on hold by the charity until the outcome of the very serious allegations made by Laura Richards against Harry Fletcher. Prior to setting up Paladin, Laura had been the co-founder and director of Protection Against Stalking, whose patron was the infamous actor Hugh Grant. The co-founder of Protection Against Stalking, along with Laura Richards, is a woman 
called Trisha Banal, who was instrumental in the setting up of the 1997 Protection from Harassment Act. This woman personally invited a known criminal and cyber stalker of our victims to the conference on stalking law reform at CEOPS in April 2011. Here is the known criminal, Ronnie Hobby, publishing about being invited to the conference personally by Trisha Banal. This man is an abuser of two of our elderly gay victims who currently have a lifetime non-molestation order on him for DV and cyberstalking. This is part of Ronnie Hobby's criminal record showing that he conducted a course of conduct which amounted to harassment. This was of a previous girlfriend. So what was he doing at the stalking organisation conference? Here you can see five counts of fraud and deception. He really deceived everyone, including Gary Shuham. Five days after Ronnie Hobby and his female accomplice, who also attended the CEOPS stalking conference, both manipulated Dorset police into carrying out a 16 policemen, four police car and six armed response unit personnel violent break-in into the home of our two elderly gay victims and Dorset Police will not talk about it, Martin Underhill will not talk about it, Mike Penning the Minister of Police will not talk about it. The female accomplice who published and admitted to meeting Gary Shuan, Laura Richards and Trisha Bernal has also been corresponding with government ministers Theresa May, Chris Grayling and others. They have responded to her the woman also wrote a long paper that was read by all the ministers and read in Parliament. They have corresponded with her but they refuse for two years now or more to answer correspondence from our two elderly gay victims involving these stalking organisations supporting these cyber stalkers. She even has a police harassment notice on her and her friend a lifetime stalking and domestic violence order. This man is Assistant Chief Constable of Greater Manchester Police Gary Shuham who also attended the conference. Gary by his own admission is the National ACPO Police Lead for Restorative Justice as well as stalking and harassment. However in our organisation speaking to Mr Shuan on the 14th of February, he denies that Laura Richards was a part of uh, protection against stalking and he also denies that he was a director. Yet here, as you can clearly see in company records, not only was Gary Shuan a director, which he denied, that's a senior policeman lying in public office, but also shows Laura Richards and Trisha Bernal, co-founders of Protection Against Stalking, clearly shown also as directors of the organisation. In this 28th of February Mail Online story about Laura Richards' allegations of Harry Fletcher stalking her, her former colleagues say the following about her. found her difficult to work with. She was making some rather strange allegations against Harry. I found her accusations to be utterly incredible. I resigned from the Board of Protection Against Stalking because I feared that any form of association with her would be harmful to my professional reputation. I was aware she had made complaints of harassment against others in the past. Harry has been given advice and emotional support as a stalking victim himself. Spreading malicious allegations about someone is one of the stalker's weapons. This is a publication on Harry Fletcher's own website where at item 13 you can see that he states that he raised nearly £1 million for Paladin. Well, 
as the Daily Mirror and Daily Mail article only concentrated on the 148,000 donated to Paladin by Comic Relief, our investigators researched further and found there was nearly £1 million that Harry claimed to have raised. And this documentary shows the evidence of those donations. The following are not an exhaustive list of organisations that have made charitable donations to Laura Richards' Paladin Stalking Advocacy Organisation. These are just a few others, such as Kenneth Green Associates, Lloyds Bank, Simpson Miller Solicitors, NAPO, Police Mutual, Safer Places and the Mirror Newspaper Group, who strangely enough published this Laura Richards story in early 2015. The chairman of our organisation, Mr Jerry Coulter, approached Safer Places, the charity that handles the 148,000 donation from Comic Relief. One of the directors of Safer Places is also a director of Richard's Paladin organisation and stated the following to Chairman Jerry Coulter in regards to Safer Places shares in Paladin. Janet states that Alison Clare Mann, who is a director of Paladin and also of Safe Places, holds no shares in Paladin. Hello Gerald. By the way, neither Alison nor I hold any at all and Safer Places has a minority shareholding. As this pie graph shows of Paladin, that is not quite true. Safer Places hold one third shares, as does Paladin director Alison Mann and also Laura Richards. In an email from the CIC regulator, they say, Dear Gerald, the regulator would expect all donations and funding to be clearly shown in the CIC's accounts in the interests of openness and transparency. Esme Fairbane Foundation donated £105,000 in 2012. The Big Lottery Fund donated £356,898 in March 2013. The Joseph Roundtree Reform Trust donated £70,000 in 2013. The City Bridge Trust donated £140,000 in April 2014. The charitable donations you have previously seen total £819,898, yet as you see on the Paladin accounts only a little over £111,000 is recorded. This is a difference of £820,000. Even taking into account only donations between 2012 and 2013 and split over two to three years, the income in the 2014 account should show an income of £238,000. There is still a discrepancy of £127,000 that does not show in the relevant accounts year. Our researchers then studied the information and guidance on regulations governing community interest companies, which are very strict. CICs apparently are forbidden to participate in political campaigns and lobbying. This is confirmed and verified in the following email, again from the CIC regulator. Thank you for your inquiry. Any organisation that undertakes any form of political campaigning as a part of its activities would not be eligible to form as a community interest company. The activities of supporting victims of crime would meet the criteria for the organisation to become a CIC subject to the examination of the formal application by the regulator However, if the organisation were to include any form of political campaigning to change existing laws or to implement laws, 
then this would be a breach of CIC regulations and the organisation would be refused CIC status. If a registered CIC were to engage in political campaigning, then they would be in breach of CIC regulations and the regulator would contact the CIC for an explanation. Regards, Jackie Lewis, caseworker. On the 2nd of February 2015, at the same time as the Daily Mail and the Daily Mirror, disclosures of the stalking allegations against Harry Fletcher by Laura Richards, Paladin released this press release announcing Lady Edwina Grosvenor, sister of the Duke of Westminster, as just becoming the patron of Paladin. There is of course a get out clause in the CIC regulators regulations that states that a company set up as a CIC can indulge in political campaigning if it is directly related to the business they are operating. Well yes in this case Laura Richards Paladin Association is set up to do that. However, the regulations do stipulate that before you set up a CIC company, it must not predominantly be for campaigning. But the evidence is clear from all this that Laura Richards was campaigning during her time as director and co-founder of Protection Against Stalking with Trisha Bernal and also in the interim period before setting up Paladin. She was uh, campaigning for stalking with Harry Richards, formerly of NAPO, who was director of Paladin along with Laura Richards. So it would seem to us that it is quite clear that Laura Richards and Harry Fletcher did set up Paladin on the basis of the campaigning they were doing prior to setting up Paladin. And this would be a breach of the CIC regulatory rules on community interest companies.